unbelievable unbelievable top 10 children of wolverine how many children has he got Kemi, your multitasking skills have to be on point right now because I know you're definitely playing Among Us. And Ebony is here. How was your day today, Ebony? Oh, you had the day off, didn't you? You had the day off. <laughs> on my way home, homie. That's what Alex said. Oh, Alex had work today. here says Ebony so um today I really thought that I was going to be able to pre-order my uh, my Xbox which is never gonna happen anyways because I haven't got the funds yet um, and they're sold out anyways so um, that's a bit, it's a bit sad, both sides, you know what I mean, but then maybe it's a sign for me to get the PS5, oh my god, this YouTube sensation, Parley Wally, <laughs> you did this at work, <laughs> it's the YouTube sensation, Parley Wally, was work even busy today, can you wait till December? No, I can't wait to listen. All next gen pre-orders are sold out and sell out instantly. But like, literally like, is that the websites weren't even working? There will be more, but they're all gone in less than an hour. But wait, 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 wait. Surely, like surely, if you know, like, you're gonna be sold out, like, why don't you just make like, a gazillion units, like just make so much that you just never sell out and just keep it going. Because like, people still buy cons, people like, someone probably bought a PS4 for the first time yesterday, like, come on. It's not, it's not like they're gonna struggle to sell their console. It takes time to make them and then distribute, I guess. I'm just being really impatient and salty. We start in foul more minutes, foul for foul for foul more minutes.
Mm-mm. Doom. Plus, it's the first wave. They'll need more for Christmas. Ah, yes, that's very, very true. It's almost as like, um, oh, what month are we in? September is like how that they test the waters. Like, okay, let's see if we we need any more. And then Christmas comes along, and then boom, that's when the sales really hit. Cassin, what are you saying, bro? I hope you know I stopped in the middle of the JoJo episode for this stream. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, fine. No, three minutes, bro. Just, 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 just wait three minutes. Okay, what if I sing the the JoJo song for you? <clears throat> I forgot how it starts, <laughs> but what I remember is JoJo. I think it's JoJo, 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 JoJo. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. Da, 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 da. Jo, Jo, <clears throat> Boo. <laughs> Yo, no, see, no, 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 no. Jo. That's still not past season two. Is it Joe Star? Joe, Joe, no, that's not. Yeah, Joseph, Joe, no. The American one. I think it's American. I don't know. He sounds American. So no chido sadame. Joe, Joe. Jonathan was the first lad. Joseph was his grandson. Jonathan Joestar. That's who I am. Speedwagon. That is utterly unacceptable. Alright. I guess we're starting in three, two. One. This is the longest minute ever. I can't hold my breath. Okay, I'm tired. <sighs> is this the episode where we see Mr. Toe get slapped? We shall see. If our episode doesn't get taken down. Oh, Flip, we know you finished this episode. I hope so. What have you guys got against Toad, man? The Open Arms Hotel. The Bronx. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. No refunds, no public restroom. Smile, you're on camera. I'm trying to like pay attention to the signs. They're really like um cleverly done. She'll kill ya. You heard it here, kids. Coke is nasty and it'll kill ya. I personally think Coke is like the worst fizzy drink you could ever drink. Like I would definitely choose Pepsi over Coke. I and Pepsi tastes better anyways. Repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby. They should cut their rates. <laughs> Want it by the hour or for the whole night? <gasps> that is beauty. Oh, uh, beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Why? Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. I don't care. I said I'll, I'll stay out of the it. Woodlands. He'd be mortified. Beauty, I could honestly not care less about this. Do what you want. All right, jeez. I thought since you didn't tell Beast you saw me, you cared how I felt. No, I care, I but not. I'm staying. I'm staying so out of it. So what are you doing oh, here? God. 
Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Um, ever see Lily with anyone? Have you seen Snow here? Did you know Faith? Um... We're here for Lily. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Wait, hold on. Am I being timed? Okay, cool. Um... Not gonna lie, the pudding and pie sounds delicious. Of course it has to sound delicious, because, you know, that's where all the ladies are, and I'm gonna stop there. Um, Paul turned into the mean guy. No, I'm not turning into the mean guy. I just assumed that he would have been like, I said, like, you know, he would have, like, been like, I don't know. Excuse me. I don't, I don't care. I, I, I thought he would mention, like, how he said that he will stay out of it, basically, and he was just, you know, straight up. I don't care. But hey. Um, did you know Tweedle D? No, let's go for Faith. You meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. Have you seen Snow here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. Okay, so I it was just Lily. assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. So it's really just normal to just walk past someone who looks like someone you know, and if they don't say hi to you, you probably think, oh, that's a glamour. That's weird, that like, just having someone walking around that looks just like you. I you talked to Tweedledee. Tweedledee earlier today. He More mentioned like you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus oh, interest. It's just Why a take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Who's you, that? You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh. Can I apologize? Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Extra adults, fifteen dollars each. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. <laughs> it won't be hard. That won't be hard. Got another trophy. Maybe I can get another platinum trophy. Um, that's another man's Listen, wife. Baby, to ever step your boundaries. I assume <laughs> you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something, which is fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name just say you talk to the clerk or something hmm. you'll do what you have to i just want you to know that that would help me well here we are which one was it 204 please but i'm a nosy little baga so i'm gonna check everything no 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 they might take the video down I don't, I don't know which room to go. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm curious. <laughs> Wait. That's the wrong door. Why would you bang on it? Can I just, like, force my way in? No, I can't. Two or six. I can go in here. 
Arkon. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I... what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. Oh, this do I, I need anyways? All the angles. You never know what might be significant. Oh, I should have went into 204. I guess. No, 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 no. Give me the option first. Oh, damn it. See anything? No. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go into 204. Quickly, quickly. Let's, uh, semi laid bed. You get health inspectors through here very <laughs> often. I don't know. What do you think? That is disgusting. I'm never sure why they have desks in a place like this. Finding what you're looking for? I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? No, the key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. It was 206, 204, I can't remember, but yeah. Um, wasn't it 207? Was it? Um, to get a platinum trophy, you have to play twice. But when I played um, The Walking Dead on PS, actually, yeah, yeah, I did play a couple chapters again to get the trophy. You're right. Oh, God. So, are we done now? No. no. The room they met in was 207. Oh, Ebony was right. Thank you so much, Ebony. 207. Open this one. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Oh. <gasps> oh, oh my god! No! It's about to How be big. To it's me? not what it looks like. No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? No, nah, We've it's... been together through everything. Brother. I took care of you. I love... It's not what you think. Please. Brother. You're cheating on me with him? No, You're an animal. No, I'm please. an animal. I Listen. I promise I'm not. Be on the same level, bro. Him. You don't That's need to all. Fight. I'll bet! It's not what it looks I'm like. I'm sure yeah, you I, help each other just it, great. You've, you've got it wrong. I know what this place is. I know what goes on no, here. No, you've got it wrong. Relax, beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me. Oh, it's about to go down. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Uh, hey, bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? I thought I could trust you. Just talk Listen to your wife. To your wife. Just calm down. He's gonna punch Beast. me. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Nearly missed that. Nearly missed that. I wasn't expecting what that. The hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me. Try to Let's go. Let's go. She's my wife, baby. I am sorry. It's not I what it looks like. Give it. Well, damn. That's strong. Stop. He started it. Jeez. Please. Leave it be. This is my fault. Hey, don't touch me because he's going to give you more mag that you touch it. Please, no. Pull out a damn pipe from the wall. Let's try. Really going to get a workout from this. Uh, oh, wait. Got it. Oh! He closed out his eyes! Oh! He really just loses all composure, isn't it? Flip! Bigby, no! Don't hurt him! Yeah, I'm not gonna hit him again. Of course, of course. He just won my god. Wait, he bottled me, right? Shh. 
Shit, Big B. What have you done? At least the door's open. What? What is this? His eyes just normal, Big like. Look what you did to the door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you. Stand back. You, <gasps> you don't want to see this. Bloody hell. I'm gonna have to say it. I'm gonna have to say it. Actually, you know. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Is this. Is this. Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then. Must have happened right here. Jesus. Well, last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Oh, Beauty. dear. What? I'm not a prostitute. Oh, you idiot. see. Oh, I God. He went to this room. Desk. I... Yes. So that's. Yeah. Still. This is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Well, at least he understands now, but it literally took someone to gouge his eyes out. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. <sighs> Examine the cassette player. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? So, Sorry. Yes. He did not apologize. That's very true. He did not apologize. Beautiful. What is that? It's a book about Snow White, or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The Monday version. Oh, so that the human version. Got it. The whole book is about her. Yeah. Oh wait, I actually tried to read it like I understood. Anyway. Was she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. He is hot headed. Pardon me. Bottle. He brought wine. Classy. It's yeah. a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently me. not. Oh, I was gonna say me too. It's on the table, another cas oh, cassette. For my arrival. Well, we know what I gotta do with that. Actually, first of all. We shouldn't even be in here. Listen, it, what, do you wanna just leave the room with, with blood on, on, the, on the sheets? Hmm? Oh, that's it's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Big bad no. she must have correct. been wearing it. He <sighs> killed her and then and then he took it back off. That went over my head. No, that went no over my head, Alex. It. it must have been torn some other time. What is it? <laughs> he likes it rough. He could be a cross dresser. It looks like this Snow's is costume. The same Let's dress be serious. As the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. I guess he wanted to get the details right. God, role playing as a person who really exists, who we know. That's just weird. I'm not sure who to feel worse for. Okay, no. I take that back. Mm hmm. Um, we don't talk to Beauty. Anything on the floor? Um, bed. Ah, the petals. Yes, that's interesting too. The petals, the flowers. I mean, yeah. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand, in case there was any doubt over who died here. Hmm. What? What are you thinking? It reminds me of Snow White's coffin. Looks like a ritual sacrifice. Flowers Maybe. mean a personal connection. Our Mister Smith seems to have a real thing for flowers. You don't just deck out a bed like this for no reason. He's invested in this. 
on a personal level. So he's obsessed with Snow's story, and in love with her too? And this poor girl just got in the way. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one, actually, that question put me she under pressure. I didn't, so I didn't know what to pick. Um, let's put the cassette in. 12 a.m. Bigby, this? I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Yeah, I got rid of covered up the sound of the murder. Mmm, very true. Nothing interesting. Oh wait, wait, what was that? Was that an apple? Oh, <gasps> hello. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Huh. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Is that this apple in the book? She's eating. No, is that the apple it's in the book? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow Story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting Murder out another part hungry. of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but Not that hungry then there's he really this took one other bite. stuff too. I mean, he brings someone flowers before he kills them? I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. This is a serious case, Alex. Grow up. Even though you are older than me, but anyway. Oh, he's been he's been stalking her. I think that's the real snow. How do you know? I'm in this one. Yeah. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What? What is it? A <gasps> flip crane. You what? Oh! The plot thickens, yo. The plot thickens. He broke the mirror. Now you can't see anyone. He's hiding his trails. Tracks, trails, whatever. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really? We. He's actually the York. I should have been more mean to him before. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. I'm sorry I trust you. I, actually, I don't even know why. There will have to be some changes. <gasps> what is? Wait. Hello, Big B. Fam. Take care of it, Big B, or I'll take care of it for you. What is going on? Jesus Christ, Big B. Is that you? That sounded like Mr. Toad. Jesus Christ. All right. <clears throat> Let's recoup, guys, and see what we've done. How did he respond to Crane? 
about Snow's death. You and 12.8% of, of players accuse him of not caring about her. Only 12.8 of us? What? No one paying attention to what he's doing to her. Anyway, how did you treat the murder suspect? You and 30% of players forced him to talk. Yep, and I didn't take the money, and I'm really mad about that. Um, did you let Snow come with you to the trip trap? You and 91.9% .9 of players let her make her own decision. How did you handle Georgie Porgy? Georgie Porgy? Who is Georgie Porgy? Could someone let me know, please? I, I need to understand. Um, poorly, poorly, Georgie, poorly. Um, you and 69.9% of players didn't hit Georgie. Haha, <laughs> ain't it ironic that it's 69? <laughs> anyway, did you keep punching Beast when he was down? You and 77.8% of players opted not to hit Beast a second time. And yeah, I mean, that episode was really. Oh, yeah, that was a good episode. I forgot one of the episodes got taken down, but that was a really good episode. Anyways, we move. Hey, maybe you beat down Toad. Just leave the Toad alone, alright? I'll handle him. Alright, let's skip the credits. On the previous episode... <laughs> oh, wait, what? My bad. <laughs> episode 3, A Crooked Smile. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Oh, so... please don't show Ariel. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Open arms. Oh my god. Oh my god. We still haven't found my berries. What? what I found it? these. <gasps> it's Crane. The little op. Georgie Porgy put in a pie, kissed the girl, and made them cry. Wow, this game is really, really, really good. <laughs> the creators and writers behind this. Really, really good. Really good, really good work. See, Tell Tell, oh, they're just amazing. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Yes. Oh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. Oh, he's on, What's he, going he's on? on the rage. What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Beast is like a big Shit. kid. Crane's been. Oh, Bigby, calm down. I swear that was broken. Me. Anyway. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. She's in danger. Her little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she uh, say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office yeah. to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? Wait, oh, the right tables now? have turned. There's a lot going on. Out. There is a lot going on. Big B. Wait. What? what? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What do you mean? When you tell her. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? 
You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. So do I show her the picture or not? Because she needs to know that someone's following her. She needs to know that Ichabod is a creep. Oh, that's so weird. He's so weird. He's actually really weird. He treats her like crap in real life. But then hires someone to take on the glamour form of her just so he can touch her up or probably even do worse while well, he decapitated someone noting how she's living a double life and she gets annoyed at him for having a pint trust oh a funeral did we give her did we give um Gretchen, I forgot her sister's name. Her body. People she trusted and Ah, okay. Because I remember her saying that she needs the body or something like that. Something like trolls do. Offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of the lily will ever subside. We respect the thing. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. Alright, alright, I'm crashing this party. Ooh, patient, party, Paul, have some respect. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for, um, pageantry. What other option did I have? Of all, it seems how I don't have another option, right? Loved, dearly loved her friends I want to see if I'll, Let me see if I wait for her, she if anything changes. Let me just pace around so I put her under pressure. Oh wait, what? I, I can go me, around? <gasps> Hello. What I've been told, I know Offering in table. my heart that she Card. would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have a miss worrying about moment you. of silence. I'll miss our Thank fights. You. Holly doesn't I'll miss you. Holly. Oh, underneath the bridge, I forgot what fairy tale now that was. You will never die from indifference or lead a tedious life. Goodbye, sweetheart. Thanks for everything, Vivian. Bigby, mm. is everything okay? Okay, good. No, I wait for her to finish. You. Wait, what? Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. I helped Holly, you. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. What did I do? Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. Wait. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Wait, after what? After you lie, after you promise me. When did we? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just yeah. Crane. Yeah, I was gonna say we didn't do anything. Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Thank you. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. I didn't do anything. It wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Wait, oh, did I? I'm Holly, confused. It's going to be okay. Um, no, I didn't I don't Prince remember. A fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Okay, hey, good. What do you know? We actually agree on something. Yay. He cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. This one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Oh, was that the wrong time to say this? Ooh. Oh, okay, cool. Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I, I it's know. It's clean. This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So I think talk. it was Crane. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. 
Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Now I, yes, yes, Alex, I, that went over my head as well. Now I know why he was so eager to get rid of Lily's body so quickly. So you could hide the evidence. Oh, it's all piece it together. Chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Craig murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? I just want Lily's killer. Cut off. I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yes, Crane. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna give us the option to this show her the picture I've or not. Oh, this is a guy. He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act. Just what have you found? He could not Maybe. tell. What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole oh. motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily. But what if Crane's in your glamour? Making her look like you while he was, you know. Hmm. This is. I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it, to not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's the been picture. doing? The picture. The time showed because picture. please, Bigby. Oh, don't I knew it. Deposing oh. If we get this wrong, <clears throat> it would mean more than our jobs. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing with Just show the picture. So ah. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come time. up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. See, I feel like now that we've taken our time, something's going to happen within this moment. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find anything? Um, no. Lily yeah. was killed there. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm mm. sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh coming hmm you's a bit sus lady constable wait 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 easy what now, you know how this goes the first thing in a visit you say how do you do how do you do that way it's proper what are you doing here that is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. 
Just sit in your office mm. and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See, now, you're already asking too many questions. <laughs> Just pay attention. Is no one so going to help me? Be? We have a deal. You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours. You think I'm bloody Brother, scared? I'm the protagonist of this game, bro. Now. You think this act you got going scares me? Because it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please. Invertebrates. Rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down, settle down now. They want me to leave Crane alone. Mm -hmm. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, yeah, telling everyone them. our dealings. Oh. What did I tell you? Ooh. What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just oh. a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks um. are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Yes. Yeah. Listen to your lady love. Oh God, Things, oh God, oh God, don't oh have to turn sloppy now. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, she's gonna... I'm gonna kill you! Yeah. Holly. Of course, that was inevitable. That was inevitable. I knew that was gonna happen. I got it, damn. Yeah, don't touch the gun. Do not touch the gun. Oh wait, no, 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 I should've helped him, I should've helped him, I should've helped him! No! I could've saved him! Wait, what? I... Wait, hold on, we're fables, I swear we... That's a trophy, so I think that was inevitable. Nah, 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 I'm not restarting. But I'm gonna have to be true to the game. My decisions, I have to be true to them. I'm not going to. I don't know if I was allowed. Oh. Yeah, all you lose is start. Re yeah, yeah, that is very true. <laughs> nah, I'm not. I'm not. I have to live with it. I have to live with it. The only way that I can restart it is if I actually, like, restart it. Like, the whole thing, and that's long. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> don't go looking don't... for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Okay. Ooh. I had everyone that got sent home. Holly Ooh. refused to let me see where she lived. It's so okay, I guys. Her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Ooh. The Titans, Bigby. I never do. I never doubt myself Just for a remember second. remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. <laughs> Alright then, very good. See, guys, everything Business was office. fine. I know, I'll have to call you back. 
The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap. Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms. Mm -hmm. and he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. Makes sense. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But mm. I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, what the hell? I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible. Well, we know. I think he when I it. saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would yeah. he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's he was a conniver, a a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. Anytime. Now, Keith. Can I... Um, okay. Ask you a question. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Why? What's on your mind? It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. Mm. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending i don't enjoy no, it i don't enjoy it. i want to sleep me? it's horrible what happened tonight i wish it didn't happen i shouldn't have said anything forget that i did uh guys we have a problem. What is it? I missing can't a piece. Finish the mirror. Of it's course. missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Seven yes, cubs. Uh, Isn't that beast jelly? Crane must have taken a shot mm -hmm. with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? Beastiality! We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. <laughs> that's the hard way. <laughs> we have to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Oh well, damn! Someone's eager. All right, all right. Let's give it another try. Oh, we can't rub the lamp. Um. Let's talk to Buffkin. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. 
Why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? I'm <laughs> only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. Mm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Hmm. I feel to just leave him with a bit of Look, whatever. Man, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Yeah, you do that. Um, quickly with fart to snow. Anything else here? No. The story of Bluebeard. Does anyone know about him? Like, what's his backstory? Because I don't understand. Uh, why can't I triangle? Oh, damn. He was on the other side the whole time. Aha! Read the letters first. You said you paid to have the plaster redone in my building after the lot. Okay, Mr. Toad. <laughs> Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. I remind to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in this apartment and. Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. And I really like it if you fix the air like we asked you to three months ago. At the very least, peace of will find in the meantime. Boy Blue. Boy Blue. Fam. Did I miss like a whole bunch of fairy tales when I was younger? Ichabar Crane. Are, you, blah, 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 blah. are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here are, could do with some improvements. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you are busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Waylon Smith. Hey, he's a Mr. Smith. Did Green ever do any work? <laughs> Only when Cole was around. <gasps> the key! What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head, interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Mm -hmm. What else is there? You don't want to talk? Come on, let's keep looking. Okay, damn it. Boy Blue's nursery rhyme. I've never heard that nursery rhyme in my life. Anything else on the table? Let's go for the draw. Just yank it out, bruv. Yaga. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. Mm. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! <laughs> and I'm hungover. I'm sorry. 
They set up a meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Arr. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? Stop being a snitch. Say P.M. Oh my god. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away. Why do you care? Fine help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, Hold on. Who elected her to spend my money? That well, I've been is doing not that unofficially for years. Important. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> all right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, <laughs> she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things... That'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's <laughs> what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ah! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch. Not stay I don't know that's where that. he's going. Or the snibbling weasel chickened out. Never win anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Oh, I gotta choose. Are you flipping serious? <sighs> so you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. 
Mm. I'm going to Crane's apartment. To join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. Revenge against the Tweedles. Oh wait, yeah, no, you know what? That's very true because. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't. Uh, I feel that they would be able to like narrow down our suspicions just a bit more. That's if they're at their office though. But Bluebeard did say that they're not smart enough to go anywhere else. Oh, but Crane has the missing piece to the flipping mirror. But we don't need, we're not going to find him anyways because we haven't so got the piece to the mirror. Because that's what we need the mirror for. Let's go to the D's office. D and Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, because Crane has the missing mirror piece anyway. So if you were going to go to his apartment, we're not going to really f what if you left it there? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> Toad. Oh, hi, Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go. Bluebeard is a French yeah, folk, I mean, folk tell me apparently. Me. He's a rich man who marries a woman so and then kills what them. So, brings you here? I mean, oh. can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's Do you been, know what uh, room they stayed quiet in? quiet night so far. I think the twins are out. Probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. Oh, perfect. Yeah, if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No I was about problem. to say tip the night off, then he wouldn't have let us in, so I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. <laughs> You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Oh, sure sir. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. It's official Fable Town business. Don't worry. Right. I don't want to say, like, don't worry, like, you'll be fine, and then he ends up, like, dying or something like that. I asked Google, it says that if you go to the office, you miss something at the apartment and you vice versa. If you, so no, either way, we're missing no. something. It doesn't matter. Did I just get a key? For what? Okay. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. Okay. He mailed this? They Trust. They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. No, it's not. No, no, no. We did not come here for no reason. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. So are they not in the same office at the same time, or...? <sighs> I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or mm. all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Thank you Anyways, for that. I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, Flycatcher. <laughs> Your name is Flycatcher, bro. Let's see if they've got a file on Crane. You best believe we're going for everyone else's. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Georgia has an interest. Shit. Wait, I didn't read it. Oh, damn it. 
Jordan doesn't just go ahead put squeeze. I don't know what that meant. Brannigan? Who's Brannigan again? Detective Ooh, Brannigan. Brannigan? Keep an eye on her. Keep an eye oh! On her. That's the woman that... Not died, but... Hold on! When he broke us out of... That was the detective that was questioning us. And he wiped her memory. Ichabod wiped... Ichabod slash Crane wiped the detective's memory, basically. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, oh, Cinderella! Lol! He's donkey... Oh, donkey skin. Right, fave. Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Interesting. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyway. No, 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 I'm not they're, done they're yet. Detectives, like I said. Just just trying to make an honest living. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Sheesh, I'm sorry. Crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. W what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. Why are you so eager to... Sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you Who's know, the Rev? when I think about What's it, good, Rev? you Rev guys that different. I'm joking, Rev. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business. They are nothing like me. Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing like me. In the nicest way possible. Maybe? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're hired guns, hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... My what? Oh, they shot me, blood. I want to know what this is. This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I... I, I, I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, I, I know you like them, but they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. <sighs> this is actually stressing me out now. I, I, I didn't mean to... Oh. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Oh, what a G. I don't know what, what to keep back here. But it might be what you're looking for. What a G. What a G. Well, you found should work. What's the name? Flycatcher. I shall name my son Flycatcher. Um, God forbid I do that. My wife will kill me. Well, well, well. A secret passage. Baby, are you down, 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 down? Oh, doesn't seem that much. It's pretty small. Wow. Now, Flycatcher, I hope you're not an up. Oh, my belly's rumbling. I haven't eaten. It's not good to eat late at night. But I'm gonna have to, I'm really hungry. Butcher? What is this stuff? What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. <laughs> Flycatch is snap out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Crane. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Defo taking the money this time. Alex, see what I did there? Have I made you proud? I took the money. 
Is that what you needed? I nope. don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need I to I got find the money! I got some dough, squad dearly blood. Hey, Bigby. What's up? Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, you're nice. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? He's going to remember that, that in it. Oh, my God. Thank you. I, I, come by the business office. I can't make Okay, good. Promises. That's what I wanted right, him to say. Now, whose hair is that? It's Snow's hair. Mm-hmm. Snow White. How are these men acquiring hair? We found her hair. That like much hair. Inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her. That's not a pleasant. No, don't give it to giving it to thoughts again. There's no <laughs> dress so, so what now? Snow would probably want to know about this, don't you think? I should tell Snow about this. You might need to change her locks. Mm -hmm. well, I can take care of that if you want. No, 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 no. You don't need to tell her. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. You're welcome, Sheriff. Well, he's just a good guy. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering angry phone calls for hours. People want to know who Crane is. How'd it go with the Tweedle brothers? Don't no address yeah. yet, but I got a name for Crane's witch, Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll have to find them. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll mm. leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Um... Bluebeard, Bluebeard. Oh. I thought the most obvious thing would be go to Crane's apartment next. Um, I'm going to Crane's apartment. I'll go to Crane's apartment. See if there's an address or something there. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. Oh, Flip, we're here already. With an hour to spare. 58 minutes, sorry. Ruby had burned everything. I'm late, but I'm here. What's good, Esther? I hope you've had a good day. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't <laughs> listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest. It's not your fault, Buffkin. I should have come here first. Didn't think Bluebeard would mess things up this badly. Right, okay. So Bluebeard burnt everything for what reason? Ashes. It's no good now. Boy, I am starving. Sorry, I, I'm just really hungry. That's what I think. If there was about. something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. Damn it, I should have gone what to the now? flipping. Did the Tweedle brothers have any information about the witch? Trip trap. Just her name. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? Please say yes. No. Oh, God. That's strange. I can check the books for you. How long is that going to take? 
If I haven't come across her name before, she's not going to be very easy to track down. I'll head over to the Trip Trap. Maybe I can get some information from Holly. I uh, but... What? After what happened at the funeral? She may not be too happy about seeing you. Are you sure this is a good idea? I have a job. job to do. I can't avoid Holly just because she might not like me anymore. If she ever liked you in the first place. Hey, hey. Like guy. Sorry. <laughs> I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. Mm, it's like famous She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. So that was really a waste of time for real. Yeah, we missed something. I knew it. I knew we were gonna miss something. Either way, it was inevitable. But you can't be at everywhere at once. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just. Well, damn. Read the sign. Use my foot then. Bam. Hey. How did the foot hurt my shoulder? Ah, he's way. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Hey, it's a huntsman. Well, come on in, buddy. Yay. This party. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, yeah. sure. Thanks. Thanks. I should be a voice actor. You can hear that. I can, I can do the job. I want a drink. Hey, oh. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, oh. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives <laughs> you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Well, he's about to kill himself. Damn, how many glasses do you need? Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. There's no way to wait. I don't think he's even that fat. Oh, uh, no. And anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She is fine. She's had a very traumatic experience. Bottoms up. <sighs> that funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking a big cow, okay? <laughs> Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. I mean... Uh, I'm not gonna say nothing. So. Alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. Let's take a drink. If my arm lets me. So 
To the dead. To the dead. Yum. All right, now help me. What the fuck? We beefing. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. Oh you shit, that scared me. Oh my god. It, huh? Drop my, my phone. Fucking mother, so just get off my back. Oh. I said I was sorry. All right, That's I can't been... do anything about it. It's done. Oh god. <sighs> I'm just gonna, gonna do anything. Yeah, let them rock out. The men fight. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want not saying anything. Big black hole where your fat, dumb, fucking ass used to be. You gonna take that? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This what? walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know Wait, nothing what? about that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Whoa. You were you know Lily. Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? Whoa. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. What do you want? Why did you run two nights ago, for real? Tweedledee came in here two nights ago. Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I, I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All but right. you've hurt Lily, that's my point. Anyway. <sighs> Wait, is that it? We're, just We're letting him off. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. You said you would Maybe, help. Uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. He's high. Anyway. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass <laughs> out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Yeah, it's been what long. What fucking day. It's been long. <laughs> Gren won't remember this. <laughs> All of that. So I could have flipping done whatever I wanted. But you have to be very, very quiet. There's a rabbit sleeping. No. Oh, 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 I mean, I mean, oh. Why do we have to touch her? Her thigh? Is that what you touch for real? Thank you. I'll be taking that. First of all, let's find if there's any money. Because I've been robbed in this game multiple times. Well, not multiple times. Once and I just couldn't pay for anything else. But we don't speak about that. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm so Not not you, no. Woody. Yes, yes. Uh, Ignore. Woody, is just, that you? You just gotta stay Woody. quiet. Woody, bar's closed. 
and Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Okay, I corrected myself, Alex. Chill the hell out. Uh, gosh. Robbed? You gave that lady your money by choice, like a simp. Ah, the free Billy Goat Gruff. <laughs> Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. Of, of course, course I cared. Uh, I still care. I hope so. I hope you do. Ah, there's another one. The Glamour Tube. Oh, it's a different animal this time. We're not going to take it. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, we should. That's her property. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Please don't hurt yeah, me. Sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. <laughs> the sayings that people have, I, honestly, I just don't know where they come from. When the sky starts something to do with falling gypsies. Wait, the book? Oh! <gasps> Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. But I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he if he cares about it. Oh, if she he doesn't know. Gives a shit. He does give a shit. I don't know. He cares. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He does care. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Of course. Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody. Hey, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'll take your word. Yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. But you ain't gonna remember any of this conversation anyway. Pick it up. Getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Yep. Anti Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. What's up? Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? I never turn to drink. It's how to turn me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. Oh, no, you don't All want right, to. I'll see you there. A Puff on Puff is the name of the trophy. Yeah, I why you gotta scream? Yeah, why you gotta scream? Too. Why it's you gotta give away your positions? We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. Jordan. All right. How do you want to do this? We're just gonna bust down the door. All right, all right let's, let's be discreet. Hear anything? Nope. If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Uh. Trust, she's just screaming down the corridor. Hello. Oh, you what? Close the door. Whenever you see a white girl, no, I, I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. You don't want to be in a situation. These little kids, they're dangerous. Something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Who are you? Rachel. 
Who are you? Are you home alone? Uh, you know what? We don't no, we don't want to be. We are not strangers. I'm the big bear. Don't say that, Paul. Don't say that. I'm Big B. This is snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? I literally is watched a key and peel skit today. I mean, not key and peel. I'm not allowed to let people in. We're looking for a man, um, a skinny, pale, nervous about Have you seen him? white girls in an elevator. <laughs> do you go to school? Sometimes. And the procedures you must you must take. You must is leave the elevator. <laughs> something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Yeah, let's not do the talking. Just do something here. I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? Blackish, that's it. Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. The hell are you I've doing been in here this? All night. Nobody's been here. Why are you so su you're, you're sus? Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Imagine Crane was a little girl. Because now we know anyone could be anyone. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. Honky tonk. I'm counting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. Uh huh. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Dowdy. That's how we like it. Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never that was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. There's something you ain't telling me. Why did you stop? He's been over all night, so He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. Right, I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient here. Let's go. Trying to mess with my intelligence. My intel okay, okay, there's nothing here. <laughs> oh wait, no there is. There's a there tree. There's a tree. There's a tree. At a store. <laughs> what is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um like glamours? Glamours? Mmm. -hmm. Not here. There's no one here but me. This little girl is suspect a F S U S A F. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Listen, oh? I couldn't give two. It was a pretty one. Imagine she's just in the closet. Delivered to Auntie Greenleaf, meaning she lives Butcher. here. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's, Tweedles office. office. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Oh, shut up. You're annoying. Oh, you think I'm done? I ain't done. There's another door. No. Do you like broccoli? Not really. I actually do I like broccoli. It. Okay. I guess we have something in common. She's asking bad questions. She's a. S <laughs> Anyways. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> you shouldn't get the whiffs of that aftershave of his. So he I was here. Too. Can I go to bed now, please? Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. 2 a.m. and you're awake. Is that a glamour tube? It looks no, just like it. He really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Yeah, what's your mom gonna do to me, hmm? Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? Mm. She checks all the time mm. to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snuffing. No, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. Yep. No, put it down. Hey, 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 Okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. 
I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble. What? I knew. I knew. I, I knew it. I knew it. It hurts when you do it that fast. <laughs> Hello. What? Not sprightly enough? Why the little Why girl? Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you. You, you sassy. Since I kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right. Start explaining. And from the beginning. Where is Crane? I was born in the woods. To a I don't give a fool. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. There's nothing I know that would You're an accomplice to murder. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. Hmm. Don't make me second guess. I'll stand by what I say. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. That's right. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. Is it? I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk. Now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No, if you could oh, tell me. You know oh. what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. Oh. No! What the hell? How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the oh. people who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Do you see where you put our gun fingers out? That was gangster. Out. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. excuse to wreck people's lives. Oh, the tree has to go. You can't wreck her life. And what was the other option, sorry? Wait, Greenleaf could be useful she could be useful she could be useful she could be useful i'm sorry sheriff but please isn't there another way she's a witch can't she just work for us that way she'd be official you want to reward her for criminal no behavior? not reward her you can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. it doesn't matter because i'd never do it i'm not a house cat and i don't play no wait i want to burn a tree now no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal she used the kid to try and cover up something bigby this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. Where? He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. I'm gonna burn it the won't. tree. I made up my mind. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. I'm gonna burn it. Orders are orders. Because this is, this tree is the reason why people are dying. Extinguish the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? Yep. I have nothing. 
nothing! Nothing! You took everything from me! I have nothing! I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I lurky. Ever so slightly regret that decision, but again, this tree is the reason why people are dying, so. Oh God! Hold on. Oh, do you miss the spot, Mister Clean? Come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, fucking fuck, man! Tell me what you know. Ooh. Go on. Say sign. Waste, man. I was right to punch you. You can't just go in there. You gonna call the feds? Oh. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Hey, 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 hey. You can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I. You both know what's going on. Just. I want to hear what you're saying. Crane, get away from them. Why are you shook? I didn't hmm? do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. Why are you shook for? I just want to talk. The girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get this. Stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. Sorry, I just want to see what... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you have to just give me the chance. This will work. I assure you. Everything will be solved. Cassim, where the hell have you been? You missed... <laughs> A whole flipping cup of Please tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. Wait. What? <laughs> it wasn't Mr. Toad, Ebony. How many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Two. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Big Big. Oh, I God. Nothing, nothing to do with that. I so, just, I, I've got just, photos. What oh now? Oh, God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was... I just... I just love you, Snow. Oh, I love, what? I love you, and, and I'm sorry. I'm not Oh, he's Ichabod. Okay? I forgot. I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. It's puppy dog love. <laughs> I know, but I said was needed. Even looks like Thank a dog. I don't think he did it. Oh God! All that hard really work for what? This man murdered these women. He's not. He wouldn't be brave enough. How do you know? We've been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. You said you had like to me. of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts? He's a murderer. We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you He's showed up? He's still a suspect. Up? There's nobody else that's even remotely... He's the prime suspect. There is nobody else. But why? Really? Think about it. Because circumstantial evidence is one thing. And I won't kill a man for that. Hmm. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Shut your mouth. Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Snow is your saving grace. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. Your your as of right now, you're coming with us. And, and for suspicion of murder. 
No, Sheriff. You don't get to pick when to listen to me. Just Wait. because you did what I asked back at Wait. Kinley's doesn't give you the right to act now without respect. Whoa. You Whoa. have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. Whoa. Hold the phone. When did she you become in charge? To run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. Whoa, I feel hurt. I actually want to cry. Sorry. Give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. That, does that kind of a slap? Get your ass out of here, son. Hmm. I don't know. She's ugh, snow's moving mad now. Oh, okay. Hello, <laughs> okay. Stupid girls and their preposterous schemes. What are you saying? With your lunar star looking mustache. I mean mustache beard. is a drive-by. Oh, shice. Yep. So exactly what I said. Just, just walk away. Just walk away. Nothing's happening. Just walk away. Just walk. Just keep walking. Just keep walking forward. Just, just keep walking. Just, oh, okay. There's another car. There's another whip. Oh, there's another, another whip. Will another, another, another whip like to show up? Tweet all these, tweet all down. Oldies. Hi. What you got there? Who's this? Look, Who's? it's recently come under our attention that you're. How shall I put this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. She got the Glock? It's not a Glock, that's more like a. He's about yay know. high, hundred twenty odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was fourteen. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. What's your name? Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good dog. Hey, 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 hey. It wasn't hey. my fault. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're interfering with official business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the uh you know that thing the Mondays call me? What? what my nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. Bloody you Oh, know this is Bloody Mary. <laughs> Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. I feel it's free. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. She's got some sort of mad authority. Fuck it. Huh? Oh, fuck, I missed! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, wait, what? Did I mess up? Did I mess up, Rev? Did I mess up? Did I mess up? Or did these two little dummies mess up? Hmm? Damn, that took 
everything I have. Oh my gosh. He's a soldier. He's a soldier. He's a soldier. Come on, Wolverine. Even though that's not your name, come on. Come on. Yeah, they're not making out this episode. These two are not making out the episode. Oh, come on, Big B. Come on. Where did my shirt go? Where did my shirt go? <laughs> Ooh. I have a... I have awakened. I have awakened. What now? Oh, let me dash this at them. Hey, hold this. Ooh. What's this? Hold this, boy. Hold that. Come up with your neck. Come up with your neck. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me your chest. Gone. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Oh, we just keep going. Oh, we just keep going. I want your tongue. No homo. We're gonna dash him at her. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she just moved out of the way like, really? I swear it comes. Oh, flip! It's a wrap! What are we going for? I'm killing them, bro. They, they can't take oh, it. No, 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 no. I'm the sheriff. I forgot. I'm a monster. Oh my god. I just killed someone. Oh my god. I acted on impulse. I didn't. <sighs> and what? What is this bullet? It's a special bullet. <sighs> I just didn't know when to end. I can't be the only one at that. She had the axe. I knew. I knew. Someone took it. You know, you didn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure I mean, he shot way. you like... Exactly, like, so... It is only fair, right? Oh my god, I can't... Right Am I losing it for real? Me? No. I mean, listen hey, listen look, to me. I know it sounds ridiculous, but really? <laughs> can you argue with these results? Because I know I can't. She ain't gonna do it. She ain't gonna go. She ain't gonna ball. She ain't gonna balls. Wait! Stop! <laughs> this guy's folded. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. No, I went through all of that. Just stop, please. Hmm. No, Fine. don't do this. Snow. Don't do this. Who's on the car? Who's this? It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay. That's the crooked man. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Wow. Oh, and just between us girls? Green ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. <sighs> what was that? All of that stress, all the investigating, all the accusations. Nope, not like your boyfriend. Sugar. Well, Sugar. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around.
bro. <sighs> He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Doc, oh, they're shit. going to think you've gone back to your old ways. I knew it. I knew this was gonna happen. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? <sighs> All right, let's see what everyone else did. Did he interrupt Snow's eulogy? 80.7% of players decided not to interrupt Snow. What places did you investigate first? You and 90% of players investigated Tweedle's office first. <sighs> did you offer Flycatcher a job? You and 96.1% of players offered the Flycatcher a job. I didn't even read that right. But yeah, I've got to put the man down one in it. Did you burn a tree? Only 20% did. Oh, God. <laughs> now I feel like Snow's the bad guy in this story. Did he call Tweedle dumb? You and 44. Okay, so. Uh, well, let's say 50 50. I acted on impulse, I'm not gonna lie. So, you made your choice, you killed. You got a big bad wolf. Flip's sake. Did I kill. I don't think I killed anyone up until now. I did so well not to kill anyone. <sighs> but I wanted that taste of blood. Oh, God. What an episode. What a flipping episode. <sighs> I've got nothing to say. <sighs> um, Book of Fables, let's see who's new. Okay, it's not a lot. Um, yeah, we know about the funeral of Vivian. Much of Vivian's past is unknown. Since she prefers not to talk about her life back at her homeland, she wanted to start fresh in Fable Time, but she finds herself working George for well, no, working for George at the pudding pie. But it's not a terrible life. Georgie took a liking to Vivian, so he doesn't make her take the jobs with open arms. Instead she plays hostess and helps Georgie ensure complete complete customer satisfaction. Okay, cool. Doctor Swinehart, yeah he's a doctor. Wait, hold on. Burning that tree, that was one of the options where you have to do both options if you want to plant them. Oh, okay, cool. The Swinehart is the resident fable time phys phys physician so skilled in the art of instrumental surgery that he can safely operate on himself. Damn! He served as an army medic for as many years, sometimes using the talents to impress the locals. He currently runs the special research section, SRS, of the Knight of Malta Hospital, so named to discourage people for investigating what is actually a reserved fable focused health facility. Interesting. Flycatcher, a former prince turned into a frog. Oh, by which the friendly Janial, Ganial, Flycatcher now carries the nickname as the unstoppable reference to his propensity. I'm so sorry for my reading, guys. I'm trying for catching and eating flies. He actually does. Ill. His wife and their children were brutally, well, whoa, murdered in the homelands. A fact he attempts to deny himself by committing. To a series of endless tasks and genital duties. I mean, he's such a nice guy. The trip chat bar, yeah. Auntie Greenleaf. Ho horticulturist? 
alchemist and lover of animals, Auntie Greenleaf is one of the few rogue riches still living on outside of the 13th floor, unsupervised and unrestricted. Rumoured to have lost her daughter in the homelands, now I feel bad. She suffers paranoia and depressive mood swings, I feel really bad and will only venture outside her at irregular hours under the guise of eternal, eternal white deer and oft whispered Spectre of Brookhaven natives. I feel bad. Oh my god. But she was, anyway, supplying all the stuff. Grown from a seed spirited away from her family in Triton. Or orchid? 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 I'm sorry, I don't know that word. This tree is a skull, is a sole remaining source of Auntie Greenie's magical enha enchantments. Its bark is used for glamour trees. Okay, cool. So this is what makes glamour. Its leaves are crushed for ointments and spells, and its twigs and sticks can be used as rods for a variety of and tracing purposes ring of the spell blah, blah, blah. i feel like i need to give you english lessons i'm i'm tired bro i'm sorry <laughs> bloody mary this is how i wanted to read about the true history of the person known as bloody mary is almost completely unknown even to fables most acquainted with its members her name mary at least is not up to not for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence and inlaid resist resistance to magic and spells. Wait, what? Resistance to magic and spells and a strange ability to use any reflective surface as a portal. Whoa. Effectively shortcut in space and time. Thought by Mondays to be the wailing apparition, apparition of a childless ghost. Though any evidence of that is as yet unseen, she's a, she looks like a really cool character. I like her design, character design. But yeah, um, we've got two episodes left. Two episodes left. We've gone through a lot. Oh, there's some things I haven't unlocked yet. But anyways, um, yeah, this was episode three. No, episode two. This is episode three. Yeah. Of the Wolf Among Us. Um, thank you guys for watching. And um, I will brush up on my you know, English skills for the next episode. Um, hopefully I'm not as tired tomorrow. But um, yeah. This episode... Um, I'm not putting it above episode 2. Episode 2 is my favourite episode so far. If you didn't unlock them item, it's because you missed them. Lol. I know, I know, I know. Gosh. Sheesh. But yeah, um, I, I don't know. You, you know, I don't know how to sign out of my video, so I'm just gonna say good night. Have a good night, and um, if you have work tomorrow, have a good day at work. If you if you have a day off, unlike me, um, I have work tomorrow. Um, have a good day off and um, sleep tight. Don't let the back bus bite, because it might give you a fright in the night. And if you stay out of sight, then you might wanna play tonight on the fright train on the plane because I came to see T-Pain auto-tune and the time is noon um I'll see y'all soon <laughs> good night I don't know how I got there <laughs> yeah see y'all tomorrow